are a couple of things that we know about dark matter. Uh, one is that it has mass, because mass is what attracts gravitationally to other mass. So we're hunting for something with mass, and we also know that it's a lot of mass, because the amount that we can see in the ordinary uh, stars and, and, and things that are bright is less than a fifth of the amount that we need to hold all the galaxies and stars in the galaxies. But beyond that, we don't know that much more. The challenge now was to discover what dark matter was actually made of. And to begin with, there seemed to be a lot of stuff to choose from. The term dark matter sounds exotic, but in fact, most things around us are, are dark, unless, of course, it's, it's a light shining or uh, headlights in the car um, or uh, a, something reflecting the lights from, from some other light source. But basically, when we were looking for the dark matter that was causing all this extra gravitational attraction, it could have just been all the normal stuff that we see around us. And that's what people began looking for. <laughs> 